No Sakra here either, though. I mean, maybe I just missed some when I was doing my click, click, click. No matter. There we go. Max population. Yeah, now we're not done housing all of a sudden. At least we've got the sacker here. You've made too much sacker pop. I know, right? <laughs> Just using the tools that are available to me. Uh, for these guys, make a stellar converter and just leave me alone for a minute. Wow, they're making it very quickly. I, in fact, only get one minute. Alright, Varinia. Make them regret being born. I wonder how effective that ship will be against, like, normal opponents. It's been six turns, so let's ship out some more Trelarians here. Yes. Yes. Great. Don't need to ship them there. Okay, looks good. Man, what a game. What an inspired game. Alright, let's finish off the Fiera system and we'll remember we're done up to there. I think that's the right number of clicks, but I don't exactly remember. Okay, it should be one, two, three. Yeah, we're good for now, and let's ship a Sakura to Mentar so their homeworld can be overrun as well. Is this Mukira's ship? Perfect. Guess we'll ship him to Lang next. Okay, it... Man, if we're really being picky, I could blow up these planets, but I don't I don't want to. That's gonna set us back too far. Alright, leave it at that. Hopefully this is kind of relaxing and therapeutic. Holidays can be crazy seasons. We got Black Friday that just happened. We got Christmas just around the corner, but you know what? We're just casually doing something, admittedly, sociopathic, alright? I don't I don't claim otherwise. But we're having a good time. I like that slashes. Lizard, lizard, lizard. <laughs> That's actually quite hard to say. Da -na 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 -na. And the population growth is too slow. So let's crank it up a notch. Wow, plus 331k. Again, the growth is so slow because 
I mean, we just have such a niche for the Sakura. This is definitely not the fastest way of doing it. It's cutting into our income, but it's fine. Housing. Yeah, do that first. Good enough. Depending on the game, sometimes you really don't want to have any ground defenses on a planet because um, then it attracts fire in battle and your planet will just get wiped out. The AI will just sell or convert them into oblivion. Which I don't approve of in the battle scene. A battle screen, pardon me. Alright, let's do it that way. Actually, Astro University would be nice to sneak in as well. There we go. Where's Mukir? There we go. Give him a little bit of backup. And let's get him to Lang. Hey! Energy Absorber. A nice thing to throw on with a damper field to filter out even more potential damage feels very uh, unfair. That was a misclick. Look at that, we are starting to get planets that are arriving. Wow, the system's arrived. Excitement. Uh, attempting to build artificial planet, but I think we need to let the planet develop the normal way. And I mean, I could have them at Verania rush one more ship, but I don't think there's a point. Oh, they want the Avenger. Also, I think they missed a Starbase, which is a little embarrassing. Now with the Damper Field, I don't think we can actually kill their troops. That's okay. Alright, we shot them a little too hard, that's fine. Oh, because we have the Achilles. Man, they are not disabled after that. Okay, this one does not have the Achilles targeting him. Had a misclick, so let's just be very careful. How do we do this delicately? Nope. Am I close to taking out the drive? Target ship is still mobile. Oh, these ones don't have the transporters, that's why. Oh my goodness. 
Oh, we don't have Mukir for this. What a horrible miscalculation by Dave. Three killed. All right, we chipped away. Now, there is a decent chance... I don't know why it says 10 killed when I sent 30 in. Oh, we're close on this one. No one is to lay a finger on him. Yeah. That happens more often. I mean, I could try shooting a death ray at it. I don't really want to. No, it's going to be too much firepower. Yeah, especially if it's coming from Lochnar. No. Well, we got the immobilization on it. Yeah, they just self-destructed, though. It happens. Yeah, it'll be okay. And we stole high energy focus, which is an incredible technology. It's, it's just, it's up against Megafluxers, so you can never pick it. Which is not to say modding the game is the answer. Alright, Marine Barracks, Pollution Processor, Atmospheric Renewer. And then housing. Our research is going to be off the charts. Trying to get tech? Yes. But now that they've attacked, hopefully they'll be here again. And we can try again soon. Definitely tweak some things that I did that time. Yeah, there's a lot we could have done better. Uh, to help out here, let's rush that. Alright, the Cylons are largely contained. I guess we can just keep blowing up the planets that need to be blown up. I Narl definitely has some stuff. I can't believe that they've offered Seleno. I think we're ready for terraforming already there. All right, leave me alone after this. They'll be busy for a while. Yeah, they still have quite a few systems, so they are meaningfully researching technology, which is nice. Oh, that's the final terraforming notch anyway. Oh well, go for it. We'll get to have family show up. I also, I mean, huge mistake not having Mukir there. Large radiated. Good enough. I guess I gave away Lang because of that asteroid field. Ooh. True test for the legendary sword.
This is without structural analyzer. Should be just the right amount. Almost. Uh, and again, I don't think we want to destroy this one, so... Yeah, slightly better kill rate. Hey, we got pro- I mean, look, it's more tech. It's more tech for the point scoring. And we let them have a little bit of a break. So they're catching up a little bit. Weather controller, soil enrichment. This one's definitely lagging behind the others. Less efficient. Uh, Q choices there. But again, I, I'm not gonna micro to that degree. This is already absolutely at my limit. All right, do that. Again, all we actually need to do is maximize our population, but the hyper-advanced techs count for points too, so. Yeah, I mean, I don't think there's meaningfully anything else that can be done at Paulus. All right, good work. You guys did your job. And I'm sorry. My goodness. What were they thinking? <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna go with Artificial Planet right near the top of the to-do list, because I think that's hilarious. What are you gonna do with our newfound freedom? Build a planet. Darn, if only I had someone who had farming plus one. Again, this is a case in point that you should be using... Honestly... Keep cranking them out and we're gonna modify this to use a real weapon nope now here's the question is it worth having high energy focus do we have to give up 50% of our beam weapons or a third of our beam weapons to make it fit and the answer is yes, so it's not worth having high energy focus as a system yet. Although it does boost the, the Stellar Converter as well, um, but that's not necessarily a good thing. They, uh, they sometimes have a bit more kick than you want. can rush there and we can continue the extermination of the Cylons uh, I think we got to get that guy to Thog as well nope UA is the other one oh man ultra poor tiny toxic <laughs> I guess low G technically makes it for me a bit better than the worst possible planet, but oh, what a colony! Boo. And welcome back to the Empire. I mean. I know a lot of people like Stellaris, but... Boy, do I completely dislike that game. Select combat at Anarl. Oh, so that's what we're here for. Small Rich. This one hurts. This one hurts a bit. As the, he says in The Princess Bride, I would just as soon kill you as smash a pane of stained glass. 
But since I can't have you following me either. Boom. Yeah, I see five million dead right there. I do think Mauler devices kind of have a cool sound. Let's never take that away from them. All right. What a tragedy. Uh, Ramus, I guess we're at the housing phase, which again is technically the most important one. Housing! And again, technically the other stuff does not matter. Might, might do me well to remember that actually. Oh, uh, Ultra Rich is probably the better place to build the artificial planet. Oh. All right, apparently I already had that idea. Leng will need Sakura. Uh, no enemy plants. Yeah, and the poor planet lives. I mean, there's just no justice. What is my favorite color design of the ships? Yeah, I like green a lot. I like yellow. Those are probably the two favorites. Also, yellow and kind of like orange and those sorts of colors are my favorites in real life, personally. So, man, oh, hurts to do that, too. I don't plant there. Yeah, I like uh, bright, happy colors, so. I didn't even bring, I didn't even bring what I needed. All right. Oh, this is an overkill. Sorry, everyone. I feel bad about that, I really do. We've had a couple of those. This is basically a summary. All of this is like uh, a case for why nuclear non-proliferation is a thing. <laughs> we said we were going to invade, but we only brought atom bombs. All right. The the slow trek. Look at our, or I guess that was a little misleading. I was about to say, look at how much money we make per turn, but it's a little misleading. It has other stuff wrapped up in it. What a star system. All right, let's just talk to the Cylons briefly. Uh, flux shield is probably the most important. I can't believe I never got galactic cybernet. Our research output's pretty good considering that. And 1200. That's a steal of a deal in this situation. Build another planet! Now! Ah, oh, Dave the Merciful. I like being him.
Right, because this fleet was not supposed to actually, the fleet out of Narl, this was supposed to be just like a tidy things up kind of a fleet. Let's just check out, well, actually, I know Draconis is going to need a visit, if you catch my meeting. I guess we'll send these guys to double check that Vela's okay. Yes, we have business here. I think we'll throw in a power. I mean, you could turn off ship design as a feature if you want, which kind of creates an interesting experience. Um, if you unclick tactical combat at the beginning, yeah, you don't have any control over it. The BC stands for Bitcoin. One can only hope. <laughs> uh, where's my pollution processor? You know what? I, I've pitched the idea of, oh, if you could, if you could, you know, have a standard build queue or something, it would help. But I think it's even simpler than that. If the if there was a way to order based on, just like sort the list so you could just click it top to bottom. So you could have a custom hierarchy. That's all you would need. Now this is weird. Now this is really weird. First off, we want to go here so we can take it over. Very carefully, I might add. Almost the exact amount of force we needed. We invade this one. And now we've got it locked down. large tundra well we actually don't want to destroy this planet awkwardly enough <laughs> those poor three farmers didn't stand a chance to 92 million marines with the formidable Admiral Mukir leading them There we go. Don't destroy. Yeah, sure. All right. We've got Flux Shield in there somewhere. Scouts, quote, scouts arrive. Yeah, I accept. All right. This has some good qualities. It allows us to pre-position our fleet, uh, hopefully speed up the, the turn rate a little bit. We don't want to slow down too much. Sorry, Queen did finish. No, they did not finish housing. But yeah, it lets us uh, adjust our pacing a little bit, which will be nice. We don't get to finish our busy work in Draconis, but we can just declare war again whenever. We'll get right back at it. You fall off that bike, you get right back on. Am I right? You know what they say, Rowan wasn't killed in a day. All right, well done, Paulus Prime. Man, look at Hake just puttering along here. It's part of a massive subsidy program. Uh, let's see. Uh, I demand, oh, they have no technology I can demand. 
Well, I can see why you're mad at me then. In the meantime, send one more transport, why not? I think we'll take a break here. Uh, probably have the victory locked down. I'm super interested in seeing what my score would be. I kind of want to beat 10,000. Um, we might be able to do way better than that, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I mean, getting pretty close. I'm gonna call it here, because yeah, we got a nice, nice turnover point. How many colonies now? 75. That's pretty good. I've had more. I've had into the hundreds, but this is a large galaxy, so 75 is pretty good considering um, all of our donations. So anyway, yeah, thanks for coming out. And the next one will we I think I think we'll be able to complete it. Complete our our great plan. See you all in the next episode, everybody. Take care. Happy Thanksgiving. This is kind of awkward. I said all the goodbyes, but I left it on that. Like, thank you, Thanksgiving. And then it sounds like I'm going to say one more thing. Well, that's how it ended. <laughs>